Hi everybody, Josiah here, also known as Chilling Silence, and I've just finished wrapping up uh, recording an episode of the Money 3.0 podcast with the team at Abra. That was great fun, but what I really want to talk to you about today is Digi Assets, and one of the things that we're looking at doing with a combination of Digi ID and Digi Assets at the same time. So what we want to do is allow people to authenticate and prove ownership of a Digi Asset with a website. So say, for example, you are looking at maybe an online comic book. And in order to prove that you have access and ownership of a digi asset, there are certain things that we're, we're looking to add to the protocol. What would this mean for end users? Basically, what you'll see is, as you would now, the QR code that allows you to scan it. When this pops up though, this might look a little bit different and it might say, hey look, what we want you to do is prove ownership of this digi asset, do you want to tell this particular service that yes, you own this digi asset? Now, the reason that we're going to ask is because there might be times where you don't want to tell people that you own an asset. So again, there's a whole lot of kind of UI goodness that we've got to go through there and decide how we're going to handle it and things like that. How are we going to handle the underlying protocol level? How are we going to handle when you have multiple assets? Say for example, one might be a, a silver VIP, whereas another one might be a gold VIP access to a website. How do we handle it then for users? So we've got all these really interesting questions. I'll give you a really quick example of why this might be useful. Let's say for example that one day Disney and Marvel decide that they want to build digi assets. What we've seen with the, the release of Avengers Endgame is there was this nice video for Stan Lee and like a tribute to him. And so if you went to the cinemas, you got to see this particular tribute. I did. I actually paid and I went to the cinemas a second time to see the movie and see this tribute on the big screen. What this improvement to Digi Assets and Digi ID will do is it will basically allow you to go, for example, to this particular website, maybe the Marvel website, and prove that you have access to this specific Digi Asset. Once you've proven that you have access to that Digi Asset, it could show you the private video and access to that particular website where no one else can get to aside from those Digi Asset holders. Now this might be like a trading card, for example. So you might then want to trade it with a friend who has something else that you don't. And when you trade that to them, they can then go and view that and you can no longer see that particular snippet, that movie, that tribute, for example. So this is what we're thinking about and some of the use cases and some of the reasons behind it. I hope you'll be as excited as I am about this. We're already seeing a lot of stirring from the community about ways this could be used. If you are interested, jump on Telegram, join us in the developer channel, say hi, let us know some of your thoughts, any use cases you might have for that kind of thing. Would love to hear some feedback. Anyway, that's going to be all from me for today. I hope you've enjoyed this. Consider leaving a like, subscribe, hit the share button. You can reach me in the comment section below. I'm also on Twitter at DGB underscore chilling. Otherwise, I'll talk to you in the next video. I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.